Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well today I wanted to show you a little bit more bow drill. And we're going to use this sourwood set that we got out of the woods where I made the whole video in the woods uh, with on the spot materials. I'll put the link to that right up, right up here and in the description. But, um, what I want to talk to you about is trying to find fatwood when there's absolutely no fatwood anywhere around. There is. And I've done this type of video before. The galls on pine tree branches. The pine trees we're talking about is Virginia pine. Let me take you over here and show you. Now, you can use a green branch that has a gall on it. You can cut that gall out and use that for a bow drill bearing block, but it's easier if you find a, a big gall on a dead branch. So let me show you both of those. All right, here are three that would work. I can actually see some sap coming out of this one, but they're still green. You can see they're still growing some pine needles. Here's another one over here, but they're not ideal. Let's go find one off a dead branch. But this is a dead branch. But I found an even better one. Let's let me move you down the way here. There's the one I want to use. Let me break that one off. Now they don't always contain fatwood, but I bet you this one's gonna have plenty in it and make a great bow drill bearing block. Let's give it a try. All right, let's see if this first one has any good fatwood in it. absolutely loaded. I could tell as the saw was trying to cut through it, the sticky feel to it. And this one's got even more. I'm gonna use this for my bearing block. Let's give it a try. I need some leaves for tinder first. Oh, let me show you this. I have already gotten three embers out of that one divot. This is the sour wood. Bow drill set, and I believe there's another ember in there before we get too close to the bottom. We're going to give it a try. People are forever asking me about my ember catch. This is a piece of black leather that came out of a multi-pack from Hobby Lobby for, it was like $8. And I got two black leather ember catches and out of that same package there was some long strips that I used for strops. It was a great deal. Here's the before shot. That 
That is a little too tight. Let's make it a half inch longer right there. Pull the bowstring tight. All right, you want to pull it tight. Pull back about an inch right here for some slack. And then start wrapping over the top of the cordage. Good and tight. Every single time that you go to make bow drill friction fire or any kind of fire, you're going to run into problems that need to be dealt with. All right, sourwood on sourwood showcasing how you could find fatwood for a bearing black or for other reasons, other uses, when there doesn't seem to be any fatwood around. We're gonna use leaves for a tinder bundle. Makes four embers that we've gotten out of this sourwood set out of that one divot right there. That's pretty good. Wind is helping us out. Today they're calling for 10 to 15 mile an hour winds all day. There's the flames. We'll put some of these pine branches on there before I show before I give you a close-up of that barren block.
You see the fat wood melted out of that barren block? Makes all the difference in the world to have a fat wood barren block. And there is fat wood around you, even when you don't see any on the ground. Just look up. Hi, right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.